I'm going to show you how I get rid of the black algae that can creep up in uh, certain corners of the pool from time to time. I'll try to show you an example of it here. In this crack, just or corner, just down there, you see some black gunk that, you know, it looks like it's just some debris on the bottom that it'll brush away, but that won't. It's a waxy uh, black algae that is very stubborn and so what you got to do is you got to start with a, a stainless steel scrub brush which i'll show you here this is the one that i'm using it's a small one so i can get in the small spots and that way i can put more pressure on it too so first thing you're going to do is just really you got to hit it and knock the heads off of that black algae with that stainless steel brush. And that a bit exposes it, removes some protective coating that they have, and then allows the chlorine that I'm gonna add next to get inside and really knock them out. And what you'll find is the best chlorine I've, I've found to use is that those bags of Cal Hypo Shock that you can get at Leslie's or wherever. And it's very strong and I can drop the granules right above it so i'm going to drop them at the top of the pool right above where the algae is it's going to trickle down and sit there and kind of sit on the bottom so you want to be careful of the surface of your pool this has got a pebble tech bottom it can handle that without staining it up or making it look too bad but i think if you have these pools with vinyl liners or whatever you got to be careful of what chemicals you're adding but um so i'm just gonna Scrub this a little bit more and then get some of that cow hypo and I'm gonna set it on top and let it sit. And then I'll come back in a few hours and show you what it what it looks like. There's two more spots where there's algae, black algae, the bottom straight below me here, and then one more to the left. And what'll happen is these will start to bloom if I don't get, get at them soon and uh, cause all kinds of trouble. Here's a closer look at that stainless steel brush that I use to get the black algae off when you're scraping the bottom of the pool. Again, it's about four inches long and um, makes it easier to put more pressure uh, and to get into the corners where the black algae tends to grow. And here's that cal uh, chlorine that I'm gonna use. This is um, calcium hypochlorite. You can see here, 73%. This is the stuff you buy at Leslie's. It comes in these um, one pound bags of shock granular. And I'm just gonna trim the, the bag open and then shake it like a salt shaker on top of the spots where I have black algae and let it settle down in. This stuff's only like six bucks a bag. I don't use much of it otherwise throughout the year. I only buy it when I'm having issues with black algae. Here's my first spot. And you can see those things will go straight down they usually do make it to the bottom before they completely dissolve. And just being in that area is enough to to really uh, get at that black algae. And I found that a one pound bag of this stuff goes a long way. I don't, I don't usually end up using the whole thing. I'll seal it up and save it for later in the year. Should pretty much cover that one. There we go, that one's gonna land right on top. It's a little step and it doesn't have so much distance to fall. So this should blanket it pretty easy. You can see this black stuff right in this corner. Yeah, that should definitely work for this stuff here. So 
come back in a, an hour or so and hit it with a brush, um, dissolve any last granules that may not have dissolved and uh, clean up any mess that it loosened up. All right, so I let that cow hypo dissolve for a couple hours and I'm back and you can see all that algae is gone. There's really not a trace left of it here and everything looks dissolved. Um, but yeah, right where it was really dark in that corner, it's just gone and uh, stuff works really good. Well, so you can see from what I've used here, really only used half a bag of this uh, one pound bag of this calcium hypochlorite shock to, to fix those spots. I had about five spots that I dumped it on and that's what I usually get every year. And then uh, I might have to do this again later in the year just to make sure it stays away. Um, but yeah, it doesn't take a lot. And as long as you can get it right on it after you've scratched it, then it's gonna come out and your pool's gonna look nice and clean. So, um, hey, I hope this video helped you. Uh, and if it did, please give it a thumbs up so that way other people will be able to find it. And I uh, hope you have a great day.